Hi, my name is Samantha Mirabal. I was going to quick show how you can use the split element tool with various types of elements. So for, to start with, if you have a fill area, like this one is a complex fill, um, well, you can only do this if in this manner if you have the higher levels of Design Shop. I'm running Design Shop Pro Plus. So to split this fill up, I can add a point, and I'm just going to add it at this halfway mark, and add another point on this thing with this about a half inch up. Now what I have to do is select those two points. So I can do that a few ways. If you click on the shape, I can left click on the point I added with a left click. I can left click on that one while holding the control key and now you'll see both of them are selected. Um, another way you can do it is to use the custom point selection which is this little star here and then just draw left click and move your mouse around until you circle around those two points and again you'll see they're both black. From here I can say split element at selected points and just to recolor it now you'll see my circles cut in half. Now if you have an element like this which is just a circle this is a single line so it's just a line input so to split it what you do is you'd add a left click wherever you want to split it and again click on the split element and now it's split at those two at that point. Um, you can do that multiple places around, split it up, and now you'll see I've got two elements that I can move around. Alright, to split that um, shape up. Now if you don't have um, the higher levels of Design Shop where this button is not available to you, what you can do is if I copy and paste that so now I have two shapes on top of each other. Not that that's what I want to do, but let's just leave it there for the moment. What I can do then is add a point where I want to split. So I'm just adding a few points. And now what I do on this one is I'm going to go through and delete these lower points. So I'm going to come down here and select all the points on the opposite area. Hit enter and hit delete. You'll see that left me with a curve line. So if I recolor that shape, so you can see, which that's, that's not exactly the look I want. I want a straight line between here and here. So all I have to do is clean up that one line. The quickest way to do that, to change a curve line from a curve to a straight, is you hold your control key down and you right click. And there you go. I split that without having to use my split element tool. Um, again, my name is